Hello, my name is Kyle Gordy. I'm from Los Angeles, California, 31 years old, and I do some accounting work. Currently, I have 49 children and another 10 to 11 on the way. And if women want to reach out to me, typically they contact me through my Instagram. The first couple I donated to was an acquaintance of mine. Uh, we were talking, they wanted to have a child, but they didn't want to go to sperm bank because they felt like they wouldn't get to know the biological father or have the option of the child meeting the biological father at least until 18. So I talked to them and we agreed to, I would donate to them. So they came to my house, I brought them the cup of the sperm. They injected it in the back seat of their car with a syringe and injected it. And two weeks later, we found out they're pregnant. Now they have a seven and a half year old by me and a four and a half year old. I never had any children of my own and, you know, relationships never really worked out. And I know that, you know, people break, go together, they have children, they break up. And that has a very large psychological effect on the child. This way, you know, we were always friends. We never had issues from the beginning. They knew what was happening and, you know, no one's mad at each other. The child more so will appreciate it later on. Um, knowing that we're friends and we don't have these issues. Um, so I think it's really great. I get to see the pictures and a lot of mothers, you know, want me to be involved in a child's life. Of course, it's always up to them. I respect anyone's decision. I have a little group chat with all the moms. For the most part, the vast majority of moms want to join my little group chat so they can talk and get to know each other more. So pretty much they just exchange pictures. We talk about how the children are doing. Some of them talk about having play dates, which is really great. They really appreciate being able to connect with one each other. I definitely see a few aspects or personality traits in a few of them. Like, you know, some of them are really giddy and funny when, when they're younger, you know, they're little pranksters. So I, I think I was a little bit of that when I was younger. A lot of the moms would say a lot of their eyes are very similar. I, they have like my eyes. So I think that's a very similar trait with all the kids. Of course, there is some people that do have some criticism for me and, you know, pretty much they'll say, you know, it's not good to have this many children or then I should go to a bank. But, you know, I'm not doing anything illegal. I don't charge. I keep track of the children, have a detailed list of the children, their location, the mom's contact information, um, the moms. I connect the moms with each other. So I'm doing everything possible I can to do the right thing. You know, at a sperm bank, they do absolutely nothing to connect the children. Uh, sperm banks typically very common to have over 50 children from one guy at a sperm bank. If people are criticizing me, they should start with the bigger issue and criticize the banks first because, you know, them not keeping track of the children born has dire consequences. And I think that risk of issues occurring in the future are very, very high.